Hey everybody, welcome back to The Meeting Place. This is Emma. My name is Jordan Buhat. I am Emily. This week we are doing a very special video. And I only have one thing to say to you. And I will hold up my margarita and give you a big cheers. And may the fourth be with you. What can I do? What can I say? Please make it undone. What you did to me. So today we're doing a we're doing a May the Fourth Be With You drawing challenge. I have a hard time saying that. It sounds like I have a list. Mm. May the Fourth Be With You. It just sounds like you have a list. It's so cute. And today we have a competition. So we are doing a Star Wars video. Emma, Emily, and myself are going to draw Star Wars characters from memory. Um, so I picked a character that always stood out to me and, I mean, was scary, but is like the one that I always remember when I think of Star Wars. And probably just because I was like traumatized by him watching this when I was a kid. And that is Jabba the Hutt. I'm going to be drawing Darth Maul. I know this is like highly controversial. Um, but I was still, I was like always a pretty big fan of Jar Jar Binks. I thought he was funny. Moi, moi, I love you. So, I mean, we didn't actually lay down rules of like, if we could look at a photo of them. Uh, so like yesterday I looked at a photo of Jar Jar Binks and I was like, oh yeah, that's, he's got those ear things. According to official sources, Jabba the Hutt eats an average of nine meals a day. Jabba often promises to eat people, but it's not an idle threat. We can sleep easy knowing that. You keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Okay, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna draw him. He's very scary, very slug-like. This episode of Comp Season is on a 10 minute timer. That means we only have 10 minutes to draw these characters from memory. After 10 minutes, we gotta put our little pencils down and we have to send it to Diego immediately. So here I've got my pad of sketching paper. I'm gonna use a pen. Ooh, that might be a bad idea. Maybe I should use a pencil. No, you know what? I'm gonna use a pen because let's just see what happens. 10 minutes is on the clock. 10 minutes is on the clock, let's go. Let's go for it. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, so where to start? Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Um. Oh my gosh, I'm so horrible at drawing. Okay. Well, I mean, his outline, his outer, outer outline shape is quite simple because he's just like a big disgusting lump. <laughs> he has like a kind of a full on thing coming down here, I know. And I know he's got like some form of like, he has an ear. Darth Maul has an ear? Does Darth Maul have an ear? He's got a head, he's got a head, and then he's got these e giant ears. He has like the tiniest little arms. So uh, let's get let's get the eyes going here. Oh, he doesn't have a hunchback. No, no, no. Misa Jar Jar Binks. Misa something something. What is that? Oh, these, oh, I messed up his eyes, damn it. His eyes need to be like way up here. 20, 20 seconds. Oh, this is stressful. Way up there, I'm pretty sure. Almost done, I'm almost done. Uh, little touches, little touches, little touches. Sif, Sif. Uh, <sighs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty fun. I hope they don't rip on my illustration too badly. I mean, I don't know how they're gonna do. I'm actually kind of like impressed with mine. Everybody, this uh, Darth Maul here is, uh, you know, it's a decent attempt and I cannot wait to see what a real picture of him looks like because I'm not going to look at one until we have Zoom, so. Uh... <laughs> we're going to do a little vote and then we're going to see who is the winner of the drawing for May the 4th be with you. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to The Meeting Place. And this feels like a podcast. <laughs> It's our Sunday morning podcast. It's our Sunday morning podcast. 
it's voting time. All right, here we have Emily and Emma and myself, and we've all kind of taken some time to marinate on these uh, very fun drawings. And we're going to uh, go through what we think of them, and then we're going to vote which ones we like more. And if there's a tiebreaker, uh, I might call my wife over to give a tiebreaker. That's not biased at all. Okay. <laughs> Emma's going to kick us off. She's going to describe uh, mine, which was Darth Maul, and Emily's, which was Jabba the Hutt. Um, <laughs> okay, so, I mean, they're both lovely. Um, I liked, also, there's a, di there's a different in materials here. Um, Emily, I think you did possibly a, a pencil crayon. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Okay, and Jordan, did you digitally draw this? Absolutely. I use the highest available technology. So here's the thing. They're both gorgeous. Emily, like you just said, you did this body shot of Jabba. Jabba's a favorite character of mine. Um, he looks like he's sleeping, which is pretty cute. So like you get you get points for cuteness. I, I it was especially astounded because you did this from memory, right? Like we were not looking at. Oh, I was. Oh, oh. May the 4th be with you. I was looking oh, at a picture. I looked at no. a picture. When? Oh, no. Right before you drew it? Yeah. Oh what? no! Spoiler alert. That loses me some points then because I. Yeah, that might lose you some points because. Uh, <laughs> that'll be up to the judge. That'll be up to the judges, which are us. <laughs> um, Jordan, lovely digital. I kind of liked that. Um, I feel like it's, I feel like it's really abstract and modern. <laughs> um, and I like that there's a, I think that's his lightsaber. It's great. I mean, I love his little, like, again, like, it's just a very different style from Emily's. It's almost like more like the cartoon Star Wars shows, like Clone Wars. Oh. Um, and I like his, I like his yellow eyes and I like his big chin. He looks like... <laughs> He looks like a newscaster off of The Simpsons or something. So those are that's my review. Nice. Great job, both of you. Oh, Emily, I'm up. Okay, you're up. My art review of these two, um, again, very contrasting, which I loved. Um, Jordan, right off the bat, wow. May I just say, wow, the <laughs> intensity, the chaos that you portrayed in those the little scratches, things like just makes me a little uneasy. The the lightsaber is a little bit sharp. It's like, ooh, wow, you're making me feel things. Emma, yours is like beautiful. <laughs> like <laughs> Arthur Binks to be beautiful is like, that's incredible. Um, yeah, like you did so many lines, like the detail, cause there's no color, which is cool. So the fact that there's so much detail just in like the lines and like the, the little, the <laughs> <laughs> Put it what? up to the camera. <laughs> a little horse, a little horse head. Or, but both of them were incredible, and I think you're both amazing artists. And um, yeah, oh, that's man. that's my review. Thank you. All right, I'm up. So I'm gonna start with uh, Emma's Jar Jar Binks. First of all, those eyes, those eyes. They <laughs> like I'm trying. Can I zoom in on this? Oh my gosh! Like it had you put the little circles. The little anime circles in the eyeballs, and it gives it just yeah. a little bit of extra shine. <laughs> yeah, like he looks like he's <laughs> really looking at you. <laughs> I was also gonna point out those teeth, like no lips, just er. <laughs> those are his lips. They're lips, not teeth. Oh, I thought they were teeth. <laughs> he was. <laughs> no, they're I supposed to be lips. Oh, was. that's funny. That's funnier if you look at it as if they're teeth. Like a, like, horse, like a horse smiling. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> then here we go. Okay, Emily's uh, portrayal of the uh, the job job himself. He looks happy. I'm looking at this again here, and his that 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 is the he must have taken some melatonin before bed. I think because he is <laughs> just out and enjoying it. I also like his little scarf or what is. <laughs> I think it was supposed to be more shading, but yeah, it does look like a little sort of scarf. This little uh, Christmas It's really scarf. cute. It is. Okay, I'm just gonna make my decision. I made my decision. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in too. Okay, so we're gonna go back around, back to Emma, who's gonna no. throw down her vote. Oh God. Yeah. Okay, I vote 
Jordan. <laughs> and the, the, I had two deciding factors. One, Emily, I'm so sorry. It's it's because Jordan did it from memory. Oh yeah, I technically cheated. Okay. <laughs> so I, but I yours mean, was so good. Um, and the other deciding factor was that you did pretty good for drawing on a computer. Like, I don't think I could have drawn anything that good on a screen. Like, I'm not good with that. So I, I was, I was quite impressed by that. Thank you very Keith much. Jordan, why don't you tell us your vote next? Yeah. All right. Let's see got the Here point. we go. So, my vote came down to a feeling. <laughs> Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> this this photo just really made me feel and really just viscerally made me understand the character that was being drawn. His job of that. Oh yeah. Yes! There, there, oh. there were there it was really close, but it's the feeling of the slippery slug, the feeling aspect of it um, that really push it over. Like Jar Jar gives me, I think it's maybe the teeth. It's a little, he's a little- They're not teeth. <laughs> They're lips. Well, thank you to the Academy. I want to thank <laughs> my mom for always being there. Um, thank you. That's very nice. I mean, arguably, yeah. Like maybe I should be disqualified. I don't know. Oh God, oh my God. Okay, so very tough decision because I like them both in completely different ways. But I have to go again with sort of my gut reaction. When I first saw the pictures, my eye was just drawn to one. I can't explain it. I mean, I can, I guess I'll have to, but it just was one of those things where I was like, wow, that is fun. It's funny, it's kind of weird. And the winner is Jordan. Oh my God. Oh I just, my gosh. Please, your Academy speech, you are the winner. Oh my Lord, I have a Disney puck here that I will hold up. Uh, and <laughs> thank you for the very first win of comp season <laughs> on the meeting place. <laughs> Um, I really appreciate it. A lot of hours or more like exactly 10 minutes went into, <laughs> into this, uh, into this project. And I'm very just grateful to be nominated with uh, all of my other competitors. Um, <laughs> but I am the one winner this time. So <laughs> I mean, I when you look at it, like in the artistry, and I said this in my video too, like Emma's is actually beautiful. Like it looks like it could be. You could sell that for money. You don't have to tell me these things. I didn't win. It's oh, okay. You don't have to say nice things. I'll just, you know, I'll go home and I'll practice and I'll get better. I'll get better. I am thoroughly enjoying this. And let us know in the comments as well if, if you really enjoyed this. Because let me tell you, I don't know. I think I want to draw some Pokemon or something like that next time. Oh, that'd be that fun. Be really fun. Hey, you know what? If you like this competition episode of The Meeting Place, go ahead and give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you want to see some more of these. Tell us what you want to see in the comments. Thanks for being here. We are going to catch you on the flippy flip. And we are going to all smash to work. And may the fourth be with you. Abs freaking <laughs>